वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सत्यजीत साहू एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन ओके सो द गेट नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट एंड यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट ओनली 75 डेज आर लेफ्ट फॉर योर गेट एग्जामिनेशन एज फार एज सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स आर कंसर्नड द एग्जामिनेशन इज ऑन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी दैट मेक्स इट वॉट सेवेंटी डेज फ्रॉम नाउ so if you are started the preparation then very good if you have not then how to start the preparation which topics to address first and which topic to address second so that we are going to see in this particular session so first of all let us welcome our participants welcome swapnil kartikey rahul juhi aftab and all the participants warm welcome to everyone yes so today's topic is what we will be seeing that the priority order of the topics of civil engineering subject wise each and every subject we are going to explore so this is a short introduction about myself i have more than 10 years experience in gate domain and i have my btech and mtech from iit kharagpur i have got a very good rank through which i was selected into many of the psus okay many of you might be knowing me okay so before uh, going to the session yes as uh, we know that the gate examination is what it is 75 days from now right the gate examination is 75 days from now so in 75 days you have to complete the syllabus yes if you have completed then revise the syllabus right so for that we are conducting lot of series right lot of series are been conducted to help you out so one of the series is what this daily dose series this daily dose series we are going to discuss one important question or one important concept every day every day morning you will be getting one particular concept or what particular we can say question that will be a short video of 10 to 15 minutes and by that you can cover one important topic now tomorrow at 10 am tomorrow at 10 am we have this discussion on what the discussion on the theoretical cant and the actual can many students are confused between this and therefore joseph sir will be taking this particular topic in the 10 am again it will be a short video right so we can say daily doge right apart from that we are conducting this capsule series in hindi yes and in this this is the schedule you can go through it yes and tomorrow tomorrow we have at do not tomorrow today only today 10 30 pm Richa ma'am will be taking the topic of what? Phi index, yes, and W index from where? From your hydrology engineering, right? Also, we have started a series in the Bijus exam prep app, the BP app. Famous one is what? BP app. There we have with the fundamental series for gate 2024 aspirants and rank booster series for the gate 2023 aspirants and. in that tomorrow abhinav sir at 8 pm will be taking the topic of what consolidation of soil right and then we have this msq series where we are discussing what the multiple slate questions which can be asked in the gate examination and in this this is the schedule right and tomorrow at 10:30 pm this is tomorrow okay so tomorrow 10:30 pm we are going to have this session on what the steel structures msq steel structures msq okay so let us start the series without this is a discipline session uh, without any further delay yes and uh, just last announcement okay we have another very important session coming up by joseph sir tomorrow at 8 pm this was short we can say announcements now coming to the class today to come to the class cpm class is shifted okay cpm class shifted we'll take that some other day okay now 100 topics of civil engineering i have made or distributed this particular syllabus of civil engineering into what 100 topics and you have to complete all the 100 topics complete all the 100 topics and this will ensure a marks of more than 75 marks okay if you complete this 100 topics of what civil engineering now the question is the question is which topics you should start first and second which topics you should prioritize should i leave some subject no 
no need to leave any subject should i leave any topic no you should not leave any topic yes then how to decide that which topics i should start first now one of the important thing i want to say is that many times what happens we do a mistake what we do we study one subject fully and we ignore another subject we don't study another subject that is a wrong approach it is a wrong approach Sub suppose i am telling subject 1 subject 1 and subject 2 there are two subjects there are two subjects okay and suppose subject 1 has topic number 1 topic number 2 topic number 3 topic number 4 topic number 5 topic number 6 and so on and subject 2 has topic number 1 topic number 2 topic number 3 topic number 4 topic number 5 and so on now tell me i will give you two approaches i'll give you two approach approach one i'll give you two approach approach one is complete approach one is complete subject one and leave subject two leave subject two this is the first approach and second approach i am telling second approach with the first approach second approach is okay you complete suppose the top six topics of subject one and top five topics of subject two okay so i can say you complete top topics of both the subjects tell me which approach is better which approach is better approach one or approach two please mention the comment section which approach is better tell me yes approach two is better because what will happen in that then your probability to score more will be there also should i leave other topics of the subject no i am not telling you to leave the other topics i am telling first complete these topics and then go to the other topics yes so therefore what i have done is i have divided the entire civil engineering into three categories category 1 category 2 and category 3 in the category 1 we have 53 topics and your first priority will be to complete what these 53 topics and then category 2 has 28 topics means from 54 to 81 28 topics and then you should complete the category 2 and at last we have these 19 topics and this you should see at the end now tell me in this 53 topics will there be all subjects or only a few subjects let us see your idea in this first 53 we can say first first priority first priority all subjects will be there or only a few subjects will be there tell me all subjects or a few subjects yes all subjects we can say the most important i can say the most important topics of all subject of all subject so first you should target to complete these 53 topics if you have completed 53 topics that means you have at least covered or not at least can say major chunk of all the subjects you are ready what with full full power right and then you can go for the second category yes second category and then third category now target should be what first second third or all first second third tell me what should be the target only first all, or uh, all the categories tell me what should be your target only first or one two three all the categories tell me i want to hear only first category sub topics or all the category subjects all yes i am not telling you leave third category subject topics no don't leave the third category i am telling first complete this is the order of completion this is the order of completion this is not 
to tell that you have to leave any topic. You should target to complete all the 100 topics. Okay? All the 100 topics. All the 100 topics should complete. But your target should be first you complete what? The 53 topics, then your probability of scoring will be more. Yes? So let us start the, you can let us start, you know, uh, seeing all the 53 topics, all the 100 topics one by one. Yes? So first we'll see RCC. First we'll see what? RCC. In RCC, I will discuss each topic also, don't worry. I'll discuss each topic also. You can have this PDF. What you can do is this PDF will be available in the uh, smart playlist. You can go to the smart playlist, the PDF will be available. So this PDF you will have, okay? And then each topic you can, you know, tick once you complete them. By this you can keep a track of what? Have you completed all topics or not? Right? Yes, yes. So in RCC, the first topic is what? Basics of LSM and WSM. In that, what things are there? In basics of LSM and WSM, you should be knowing what? You should be knowing the characteristic strength, right? Then the rupture strength, right? Then you should be knowing all the safety factors, right? Then you should be knowing the modular ratio, right? You should be knowing the modulus of elasticity and all the basics. A lot of questions are asked from the basics of what? Your concrete design and this you should complete. The first one. Okay. Second one is flexor. Flexor. In flexor, I have mentioned only singly reinforced beam. Yes. Only singly reinforced beam you should complete first. Don't go into doubly and flanged now. First you complete singly only. In singly reinforced beam, learn to find out what? Axial limiting, MOR, yes, AST limiting, AST, right, XU. So first only complete what? Singly reinforced beam. Don't go into doubly and flanged beam. Okay? First complete what? Singly reinforced beam. Then CR design. In CS design, you should be knowing what? The spacing of stirrups and other important things are also there. Yes? Most important is spacing of stirrups, but other important things, small, small things are also there. This is the third topic, third important topic. Then the fourth important topic is what? Stress analysis. In stress analysis, there are two things, right? Important things, right? The first one is what? The extreme fiber stresses, right? The extreme fiber stresses in a pre-stress concrete beam. And second one is the load balancing method. Second one is what? the load balancing method. These two topics are important in the stress analysis, load analysis, load balancing method, right? Load balancing method, right? Next is losses in pre-stress. Next is what? Losses in pre-stress. In losses, you will be covering all the six losses. All the six losses with major importance to what? Elastic shortening, friction loss, right? Sleep loss, and then your, uh, we can say the creep loss and shrinkage loss. This you should complete first. So if you complete these five topics of RCC, then we can say that you have completed what? A major chunk from where the questions are asked. Okay? From major chunk from where the questions are asked. Understood? So first complete this much of RCC. Don't go into flanged beam, double reinforced beam and other things and get confused. First complete this much. Okay, first complete this much. Let us go to the next thing that is what? The steel structure. In steel structure, three topics are important. Welded connections, bolted connections, no ribet. No need to study ribet for the gate examinations. No, don't study ribet. Okay, and bolted connection. See, columns is also important now. There are so many topics. This is priority order. Again, we have category 2 and category 3. Understood what I am trying to say? It is category 2 and category 3. Yes, it is still left. RCC is not complete. RCC is not complete. Category 2, category 3 is still remaining. Yes, understood what I am trying to say? I am not telling leave columns. I am putting it in the category 2. I am putting in the category 2. Okay, so have patience. So now we are only discussing what? Category 1, means which has major importance. Okay. Now, welded connections, very important for your gate examination. Yes. And then the bolted connection. Yes. Bolted connection, tension members is a 
एक्सटेंडेड वर्जन ऑफ वॉट बोल्टेड कनेक्शन यस ओके सो टेंशन मेंबर्स इंक्लूडेड इन बोल्टेड कनेक्शन ओनली यस एंड देन वेल्डेड कनेक्शन एंड प्लास्टिक एनालिसिस दीज थ्री टॉपिक्स यू शुड कंप्लीट वील हैव सेशन ऑल्सो तो वील अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू अटैप क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट बट दिस इज टॉपिक डिस्कशन नेक्स्ट इज वील गोइंग टू अ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन वट आर द टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट यू शुड कवर फर्स्ट यू शुड कवर फर्स्ट इन जोमेट्रिक डिजाइन यू शुड कवर साइड डिस्टेंस इन साइड डिस्टेंस एस एस डी एंड ओ एस डी यस एंड देन यू शुड कवर वट सुपर एलिवेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन सुपर एलिवेशन we have camber also yes then in geometry design we have horizontal and vertical curves right in vertical curves we have what the summit and valley curves see these are see you will tell sir uh, uh, you know summit and valley curves are two different topics how many formulas are there hardly 111122 formulas are there right so therefore it is categorized in a single topic are you under understanding for each formula i cannot form a different topic right <laughs> yes or no so small 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 formulas are there so we are not formulating different topics we are we are accumulating in a single topic horizontal curves mean what your extra widening yes setback distance yes and transition curve right three topics are there so it means three we can say sub topics are there right then your flexible payment you should know the design traffic calculation right 365 into a into 1 plus r to the power n minus 1 by r yes this formula and then what your vehicle damage factor and your land distribution factor right so this formula and discussion of various type of questions calculation of vehicle damage factor calculation of land distribution factor calculation of design traffic right so all these things is very important category then we have in rigid pavement you should only cover first what the stresses three type of stresses frictional stress warping stress and wheel load stress and their combination and their what combination you should complete first then in geometrization of railway track you should be covering what cant covering what cant in cant you should cover what i will tell you first you should cover what the degree of a curve yes then you should cover what you should cover what the theoretical cant right then the actual cant the equilibrium cant then the cant efficiency maximum cant efficiency yes and then your shape speed and curve right so all these things i can say will be included in what your Geometry design of railway track can. Good evening, good evening, Manu. Then in Marshall Mills design, very important topic. Here you should know how to find out what G theoretical, G mix, then what volume volume percentage of air voids, then bitumen percentage, BMA, and then BFB and the various graphs. Very important topic. Yes, and then in traffic engineering, I have mentioned what signal design and stream models. So I will you know I will not elaborate this. I'll elaborate this. Stream models in stream models, what all things are there? You should be knowing how to calculate Q is equal to K V, right? Yes. So here the linear model, yes, logarithmic model, right? These two topic are very important, especially your linear model is very important, right? And also in this your space headway. Yes, your space headway, then time headway. Yes, and your capacity. Yes, all these topics are included in what your stream models. And then in signal design, see in signal design there are many things, right? There are many methods of signal design. You should be studying what? You should be studying only what? Studying only what? Only what you study what? You should study only the Webster method. In Webster method, there will be Three, four things. One thing is what the cycle length. Second is the green time. Also, there is Webster delay model. Very important. You study what Webster delay model and what and your Q length. Okay. So your Q length and your delay. These two are also included in your signal design. So this much we can say categorized under your what your category one. so this much at least first first not at least you should cover 100 topics i am not telling don't cover you know you have to complete 100 topics but i am telling first cover this much then you go for the next thing next we'll go to what building material next we'll go building metal building metal is also important don't leave one mark also we'll not leave any marks 
100 marks, 100 topics, we will, you know, not 100 marks because civil will be 70 marks, not Dixon Mathematics Aptitude, right? <laughs> yes. In building material, cement, concrete technology and mixed design. Mixed design is very important, the various proportions of various constituents. In cement and concrete, what to study? Okay. In cement and concrete, what to study? Many students ask me this thing. So you should study three things in both cement and concrete. The first thing you study is what? The, the composition, right? First thing you should know about cement and concrete is what? Composition and what? What properties those particular constituents, composition say constituents impact. So composition is very important. First thing you study this. Second you should study what? The tests on cement and concrete, different tests. In different tests, you should only know the name, okay? And then what? Which property is tested by that particular test and some basic details. No need to entirely remember the whole process. You will not be asked to write down a short note. Just basic details you should know, right? And third thing you should know is what? The different types of cement and different types of concrete. So these three things should cover in what? Cement and concrete. That will be sufficient. Yes. Next we'll go to what? Geotechnical engineering. Yes. Geotechnical engineering. Now in geotechnical engineering, first you should start with what? The properties. The basic properties and the index properties. And then you should study what? Effective stress. Now why effective stress is very important? See, questions from the effective stress is less. The questions in effective stress is less. But the thing is that if you have not understood effective stress, then you will face difficulty in studying consolidation, in studying shear strength, in studying earth pressure, in bearing capacity and pile foundation. In all these topics, you will face difficulty if your effective stress is not strong. So first complete what? And even you will face difficulty if your basic properties like finding the gamma, void ratio, all those things are not strong, you will face difficulty in other, sub other topics also. So first you should complete what? First you should do what? First you should complete the basic properties, index properties and effective stress. Very important. Then you can go to these topics. Consolidation, shear strength, earth press, everything. Everything I will say. In earth pressure, I can say Rankine is more important. You can cover column also, but first Rankine. In shear strength, you should cover what? Triaxial test completely. Yes. And then unconfined compression test. Unconfined compression test is a, we can say, modif in one of the special cases of what? Triaxial. And then your vent shear. But I can say the most important one is triaxial only. Right? Consolidation, there will be two things. The amount of consolidation settlement and second one is what? The time for consolidation. This you should complete. In bearing capacity, you should complete what? Terzaghi. Yes, Terzaghi theory. Yes, the effect of water table, right? And then Mayorock theory. Yes, that will be sufficient. That will be sufficient. And Scampton. And Scampton. These four things will be important, right? Terzaghi theory, effect of water table, very important. Then Scampton and then Mayorock. Okay, this fourth theory will be important right in pile foundation both clay and sand both clay and sand you should study you should not leave sand both clay and sand piles in clay piles in sand both are important permeability you should know what the Darcy's law the de determination of permeability right then then in determination we have constant head and falling head and then permeability in layered soil and factors affecting permeability and in seepage, you should know the seepage amount, seepage pressure, right? And the quicksand condition, safety against piping, yes, all those things you should cover first. This I can say the category one of what? Geotechnical engineering. We have completed 25 topics. Let us go ahead fast. We are you know, a little bit uh, far. Now in construction management, both CPM and PUT, okay, the critical path method. This is what? The critical path method. Okay, and then PUT. Okay, so both are important, both you should cover, both you cover. Now we will be discussing this CPM and PUT in details because there are so many small, small things. Okay, there are so many small, small things, finding the probability in a schedule time, right? And then finding the critical path, right? And then finding different type of floats. Okay, so all these things are covered in these two things. You should complete this. There is a very high chance that they will ask questions from CPM and PUT, sure sort. 
ओके देन कमिंग टू एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग इन एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग व्हिच टॉपिक्स यू शुड कंप्लीट फर्स्ट सी वी हैव थ्री पैरामीटर्स ऑफ वाटर राइट फिजिकल पैरामीटर्स केमिकल पैरामीटर्स एंड बायोलॉजिकल पैरामीटर्स फर्स्ट यू शुड कंप्लीट व्हाट केमिकल पैरामीटर्स इन दिस द हार्डनेस एंड द अल्कैलिटी राइट फर्स्ट यू कवर दिस टू टॉपिक्स ओके एंड for that you have to understand some basic uh, chemistry also that is also available in the app you can see yes but first you should complete what chemical parameters first chemical parameter like dissolved oxygen also is a chemical parameter right so first the getting to complete this that, that's what i'm telling don't leave any topic see you are telling you got 50 marks that means some topics are surely left so i will suggest that this 100 topics note them down and make sure that this time when you go to the examination all these 100 topics you have completed and then attend the series which are conducted on the app i have al already given the um, schedule and you know other details in the initial part of the lecture we are conducting a lot of series and also attend that both in the app in the channel and make sure that you complete these 100 topics okay silly mistake for silly mistake obviously we are conducting the practice sessions right so you have to attend the practice sessions Okay, so to attend the practice session, so we are we are going to have lot of practice session in the upcoming two months. Seventy five, see seventy five days are left. I am explaining you the topics. That is not the end. After today, there is not that I will not conduct any classes. I will be conducting classes. Uh, the teacher also will conduct classes. So, attend the series. Okay, okay. Now chemical parameters of water. Okay, so we'll take the doubt some uh, other day. But first, uh, let us complete this because we will have, you know, we have another session by Richa Ma'am at 10:30. So let us, you know, complete this. So chemical parameters first you should complete. Then in sedimentation you should complete what? Plain sedimentation and coagulation added sedimentation. Both sedimentation are important. Then waste water characteristics. Okay, here you should know the BOD determination of BOD, BOD kinetics, CBOD, NBOD, theoretical oxygen demand, and TOC. all these topics are important right bod cbod and bod yes determination of bod and bod kinetics right and then your toc and thod all these things are important and then activated sludge process trickling filter is not that important okay for your gate examination so that we will see in the next category but activated sludge process questions are in large volumes then we have air pollution air pollution is very important in air pollution you should be studying two things mostly concentration of air pollutants how to express the concentration of air pollutants and then you should study the air models air pollution models dispersion models we can say and uh, third thing also i'll add is the different air pollutants and their harmful effects directly asked in the examination right then solid waste management is very important we have to study solid solid waste management now solid waste management initially they were not asking but lately in the last 3 4 years they have been asking solid waste management so i have put it in the category 1 instead of category 2 understood so in environmental engineering first of all you should complete these topics let us go to the next thing then in fluid mechanics first flow through pipes flow through pipes very important in this viscous flow okay viscous flow and the losses the losses in pipe flow very important then fluid dynamics bernoulli equation and its application and flow measurements so venturi meter pitot tube right very important then we have fluid kinematics i have put in one category fluid dynamics very important okay complete this three first complete this three first then in open channel flow open channel flow i am including in uh, fluid mechanics in open channel flow whole open channel flow i will put in what category 1 only whole open channel flow i am putting in category 1 energy first to complete uniform flow manning's equation and then the most efficient sections and then energy equations energy depth equation specific energy critical flow very important and then the channel transitions yes we can say um width contraction and hump introduction very important and then in varied flow you should complete what the gradually varied flow and the rapidly varied flow in rapidly varied flow i can say what the most important one is we can say the hydraulic jump right hydraulic jump is the most important topic in gradually varied flow you should be knowing the different flow profiles right how to judge which flow profile based on the data given right okay those things you should know 
Next thing, this is what fluid mechanics. I can say this is what your fluid mechanics first category topics. First category. Next, we'll go to strength of material. In strength of material, first to complete what? So we are, you know, 13, 8, 39. Strength of material, simple stresses and strain. Okay, the simple relationships. Elastic constant, E, K, G, mu, the relationships. Deformation of bar, very important. And thermal stresses, very important. Lot of questions are asked from these deformation of bars and thermal stresses in the uh, last 10 years. Okay, then shear force, bending diagram, obviously. Then principal stresses and strain, you can say transformation of stress strain and deflection of beams. This all I am putting in what? Category 1. This all I am putting in what? Category 1. Then coming to water resource engineering. In water resource engineering, I am including what? Hydrology and irrigation. So whenever uh, uh, we tell water irrigation, water resource engineering, what? Hydrology and irrigation. In that first, you should complete what? Infiltration and hydrographs. Okay, from hydrology and water requirement of crops from where? From your irrigation. Yes, category one, this much only, this much only. First complete this. Category two is still remaining, don't worry. <laughs> category two is still remaining, so have patience. Category two is still remaining, don't have, don't, don't lose patience. Then is structural analysis. Many students think that are structures, I, should I leave structures? No, never think of leaving structures because structures will give you sure sort marks. Yes, if you have understood structural analysis, you can easily get marks. So therefore, first complete trusses. In trusses, you know how to find out the member forces and also to identify what? Zero force members. Then the determinacy, static determinacy and uh, uh, kinematic. So in total one, yes, those, those things you should know. Internal, external, yes. And structural dynamics. It's a recently added topic and they're asking lot of questions. So we'll conduct one session on uh, structural dynamics also and they're asking once your sort question will come from structural dynamics. So don't leave structural dynamics, okay? Don't leave structural dynamics. I will put in category one because they're recently added and they're asking this question last three, four years. Then influence line diagram is another word. We can say important topic for structure. So in structures, don't leave structures. Now tell me, can you complete these four topics or not? Is it difficult to complete these four topics in structures? Tell me. Is it so difficult to complete these four topics in structures? Tell me. Is it so difficult? You know that you, you, you will go crazy, man. No, no. It is so difficult to complete these four topics. You can complete in half half day also. You can sit, you can complete. In determinants, you can complete in one day also. Yes, it is very easy. It's not tough. So therefore, I am not including all the topics of structural analysis. I am including only the important ones. First complete this, then category 2. Yes, at least complete this much. Okay, next. In surveying, compass surveying, traversing. Yes, we all know, very important. Compass surveying and traversing, first you complete. Okay, all the WCB, QB, and then the internal angle, right? Included angle, sorry. And then we have uh, in traversing, okay, the departure, attitude and then uh, the corrections yes the errors closing errors right and then we have magnetic declination the true bearing magnetic bearing okay those things in leveling we have differential leveling okay uh, rise and fall method and height of instrument method right then we have reciprocal leveling the corrections in leveling very important right sensitivity yes and photogrammetry is very important topic every year they're asking one question from photogrammetry in photogrammetry you should be studying the scale of photograph relief displacement and the third thing i will tell is what third thing i'll suggest is uh, the overlapping of photos okay that is very important 13 topics we can say so this completes our category one this completes our category one yes category one completed yes so these 53 topics you should be seeing once no, sorry, first you should complete this much tell me can you complete these 53 topics in the next 30 days will you sit and complete these topics in the next 30 days or not tell me will you complete by december 31st by December 31st, can you complete all these 53 topics or not? 
by December 31st, we'll complete this all 53 topics or not? Yes. Your target should be by December 31st, I will complete these 53 topics. Now, these 53 topics, you can see all are included, right? You see, you see, everything is there. You see, RCC is there. Steel is there. Yes. Transportation is there. Building material is there. Geotech is there. Construction management is there. Environment is there. Fluid mechanics is there. Strength of metal is there. Water resource engineering is there. Structural analysis is there. Serving is there. I have not left any subject. Don't leave any subject. I don't recommend it. Our target is 75 and we will do it. 75 days we will get 75 marks. Don't think what happened, this happened, that happened. 75 days are there. Let us give our everything. Yes. So December 31st target should be complete these 53 topics with short notes. With short notes. Okay, with short notes. Yes. Then in January, what you should be doing, you should be covering the category two and category three and revise the category one. Understood this or not? In January, you should be doing what? What you should be doing in January? In January, you should be completing the category two and category three and revising category one. Because the category one is already done. Tell me, when, when your category one is done, you will be feeling very confident now. Yes or no? Tell me. When your category one is done, you will be very feeling very confident. Why? Because you know that I have touched all the important topics, right? I have touched all the subjects. You won't be feeling that I have not studied steel or I have not studied transportation or I have not studied building material or I have not studied, you know, CPM. No, you will not feel that. You will feel I have completed all the subjects. You'll be feeling very confident, right? Then revise the category one and then complete category two and category three. Let us see what is there in category two. In category two, we have column design. Yes, I told RCC, don't leave column. I'm not telling, leave, don't leave any topic. <laughs> I will never recommend a living topic. I will tell priority of topics. Yes. So column design in category two. Yes. Doubly and flanged beam. See, complete all the category one, then category two. So doubly and flanged beam, I, I will recommend you should cover, but not before completing single reinforced. Yes. Or, you know, a seared design. No, first complete them. Then, you know, doubly, doubly and uh, flanged beam. Then your bond and anchorage development length. Yes, lap length and other things, anchorage length. Okay. Steel structures, I will go for compression members and beams, right? Compression members and beams. These two topics should complete category two. Construction management, we have estimation, right? It's a newly recently added topic. Therefore, it is in category two, not in category three. Yes, recently added topic. It is also important. It is also important. Okay, so they are category two. Then in case of serving, curves are also important. They're asking you many questions from curves, okay? Like uh, PVC and PVT, they're asking questions. They're asking you the mid-ordinate and chord length and tangent length. So all these things are asking curves, so very important. Then fundamentals and chain serving, right? The corrections and chain serving, uh, corrections and tap length, okay? So all these things, correction measurement. They're what? The serving category two topics. Then transportation joints is category two. Joints means what? Expansion joint and contraction joint, right? The category two, yes. Then payment materials, where we have what? Tests of aggregate and bitumen. You should not be leaving this, right? You should not be leaving the test of aggregate and bitumen. You should not be leaving. But tell me, if I tell you which is more important, test of uh, aggregate and bitumen, or I will tell you design traffic, calculation of design traffic. What you will tell me? this uh, tests on aggregate and bitumen or calculation of design traffic, which is more important, which is more important. Design traffic, yeah, design traffic, very important, yes. So that's what I'm trying to say. Don't leave topics. I am giving you the priority order. Okay, runway length and taxiway design in taxiway, we have this turning radius, turning radius, this much will be sufficient for your airport engineering. And in traffic engineering in category two, I have pick our factor, your sock waves and your intersection conflict points category two. Okay, this is category two. Let us go to environment engineering in environmental engineering. 
population forecasting. There are various methods of population forecasting. Yes or no? Arithmetic method, geometric mean method, right? Logistic curve method. Yes. In incremental increase method. Yes. So all these are important in category two. And the water demand. Water demand. Sorry. And the different uh, factors. Right. They are important in the category two. Then we have filtration and disinfection in category two. See when we are going for water treatment. Sedimentation will be, we can say, more important. They will asking more questions. Sedimentation. Therefore, the filtration and disinfection I put in category two. Yes, and then sludge digestion. See, activated sludge process is first more important than sludge digestion. Yes, yes. Therefore, this is in category two. In geotechnical engineering, classification of soil, vertical stress distribution, Boissonnet equation, B equation. I call that as B equation. Okay, stability of slope. Both finite and infinite, both are important. Study both of them, and then compaction of soil. Yes, these are category two subjects, topics. Category two topics. Understood? Yes. So, see, seventy-two topics are complete. In structural analysis, I have put all the force and displacement methods in category two. If you are unable to complete them. It's okay. You can leave them like moment distribution method, matrix method, right? Slope differential method. But still, you can complete, right? You can still unit or method. Yes, still you can complete. It is in category two. But that will take time. The, this this topic of force and displacement methods might take time, and therefore I didn't include in the category one. In category one, I have given the topics which they will ask more, and which you can study in a small time, right? You can study stresses. In a very fast manner, you can study what you can study uh, ILD also. You can study what your uh, dynamics also. You study what your determinants also. First, complete them, okay, and then force and displacement method in category two. In fluid mechanics, fluid mechanics uh, basic fluid properties like surface tension. Yes, viscosity very important. The last few questions from there, so you should know the Newtonian law viscosity and manometry. I'm putting in one category. Then we have hydrostatic forces, inclined, curved. Right, very important. Then buoyancy, very important, and then dimension analysis. In dimension analysis, they will be asking you two laws: Prud model law and Reynolds model law. Right, very important. So study this in category two. Okay. Then we have strength of material. Strength of material, I am giving the bending stresses and shear stresses and torsion in category two. You might be thinking, sir, these are very important topics. Yes, they are important topics. But in gate, the relative questions, the relative number of questions are less from bending stresses and shear stresses and torsion. So, but should we leave? No, we are not leaving. We are not leaving. We are putting it in category two. First, to complete deflection of beams, complete the shear force beam diagram, complete what the Mohr circles. And complete the deformation of bars. Yes. Then after that, you should go for what this category two. Yes. Then water resources. We have well hydraulics. Okay. Confined and unconfined aquifer. And measurement of precipitation. Right. In measurement of precipitation, it's, it's an important topic by the way. Measurement of precipitation. Yes. Finding the average precipitation. Right. Isohydral method. Yes. And uh, your uh, arithmetic mean method. Yes. And the Thiessen polygon method, right? Very important. And in measurement of precipitation, there is what the probability study of rainfall, right? The risk and your reliability that is also included in what in this topic. Very important. Yes, hydrographs is more important, so I put in category one. Risk, reliability, and Thiessen polygon I can put in category two. Yes. Okay, so category two is complete. Now we'll go to what category three. Category three means. After you complete category one and category two, you should be going to what category three? Very important, very important. In category three, we have what slab and footing design. Very less questions are asked in gate from slab and footing design. Yes, should we leave it? No, I am not telling to leave again, ladies and gentlemen. Although the questions are less in slab and footing design, there is always a chance that they might ask a question from slab and footing design. Therefore. You should not leave, but I'm putting in the category three. I'm not telling leave this particular topic, but I'm putting in category three. Then we have serviceability. In this, we have what the deflections calculations. As per the control of deflection by what span by depth ratio, crack width. Yes, so that deflection thing. Okay, the control of deflection by span by depth ratio. 
okay so that thing i am putting in what serviceability there are some other clauses also like uh, you know which minimum grade of concrete is will be required right and uh, what should be the water cement ratio all those things that are important and but but not not that important as single reinforced be more seared design right so therefore that is category 1 this is category 3 complete both but first complete what category 1 then get get 2 then get get 3 yes okay our uh, lateral stability very good after padhai ho raha yes the lateral stability clause is also very important okay now tell me this is good way right yes this is this is the best way this is not the good way this is the best way we are tar we are targeting 100 100 marks right and scoring more than 75 so we have to complete all the topics but you have to prioritize the sub topic subject wise like this yes then in steel structures you can complete girders mostly you can complete what plate girders but again this is in category 3 plate girders they can ask some questions okay but category 3 then in geotechnical engineering we have soil exploration and soil mineral structure that i can say mineral structures and i can say miscellaneous things some small small miscellaneous topics are there in geotechnical engineering so that i can tell is again can go in category 3 so again in soil exploration the area ratio and all obviously they can ask again i am telling spt right cpt yes cone penetration test standard penetration test all these things they can ask again no 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 don't leave don't leave don't leave but you should not be studying first soil exploration and leaving consolidation that is not uh, wise okay then transportation engineering rotary design you can put in category 3 so first you should complete other important topics and then you go to what rotary design yes and rotation so you should study what only the capacity of a rotary design that only is important right then 87 so we are going towards the end 88 disposal of sewage as effluents right okay remember in a river when we are disposing right then to find out the critical length where you know uh, we can say it mixes completely so that it is below the danger level right that we can say ah yeah 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 and then you know how much time it takes critical time critical length but again those calculations if you remember little complicated na yes no no this will not be valid for ESC. this is only for gate for ESC we will have another session this is this is only for gate only for gate ESC things will be different only for gate because gate is a numerical examination so therefore the priority order will be different okay so in ESC things will be different things will be different so don't follow this for ESC okay again the equations are complicated so putting in category 3 then design of sewers again important but category 3 physical and biological parameters it is possible to get 75 marks also if you come follow this if you complete this 100 topics it's possible complete this 100 topics make you know the list as i have to not, not make it is already prepared so it is done for you <laughs> just complete this 100 topics okay write down topic wise and you complete one one and you know be happy then physical and biological parameters remember i told chemical parameters is in category one but physical parameters like turbidity yes they will ask turbidity right they will ask turbidity i'm not telling you don't study the turbidity nephelometer study turbidity right but not before chemical parameters right mpn index yes it's important yes but not before chemical parameters then in fluid mechanics boundary theory again is important but not before fluid kinematics right the lift and drag impact of jets again important but not as important as what not as important as what your i can say um, pressure measurement or you know or sorry flow measurement uh, venturi meter or i can say not so important like pipe flow then turbulent flow also they're asking questions recently also therefore turbulent flow is also important but category three in strength of metal pressure vessels okay we can say cylinders and spear thin cylinder no thick don't study thick thin cylinder spear okay and I will include columns also, strength of material, that is in category 3, okay. Next, 94 topics are complete, wow. Then, water resource engineering, means hydrogen irrigation, yes. So, we are completing gravity dam, important stability analysis of gravity dam, the how to find out the various forces, especially what? The seepage force, upward seepage force, right? That is very important, they might ask question, upward seepage force. No, 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 what qualify, don't, don't, the target, target to first complete the category one. Category one topics, first target to complete the category one subject, topics, okay, 
half geotech will not do no 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 complete category one subjects uh, and then category two and category three don't try to qualify you will get good marks you complete this hundred topics you'll get good marks why are you settling for should i qualify should i get 30 40 why go for the kill man go for kill go for killing and don't kill people <laughs> kill the paper <laughs> yes kill the paper go for kill don't go for qualification now go for kill complete these hundred topics somehow i can ensure you that you will get very good marks okay don't 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 go for qualifying what you will do by qualifying don't target qualification now go for killing yes cpes theory again important but not as important what a requirement right and therefore i put in category 3 canal design in cross drainage they asked a question in cross drainage last year yes they asked a question on cross drainage on siphon and you know and siphon aqueduct and the canal and the canal siphon yes so you cannot leave the topics again i am telling you cannot leave the topics but we are discussing the priority of topics then flood routing muskinga method again important they will ask questions from this also in surveying gis gps and remote sensing you should cover the theoretical parts theoretical portion this they will ask theoretical questions then theory of errors and tachymetry also they can ask but again in category 3 you should not be first first completing tachymetry and later completing uh, compass surveying right no first compass survey and then okay okay so this is the 100 topics hope you all enjoyed this completion of 100 topics yes so to complete these 100 topics we will be conducting a lot of series as we discussed okay so on youtube also are conducting on app also conducting right so today 10 30 pm yes 10 30 pm you see this is from infiltration right you see this is in infiltration right infiltration was category one now you see infiltration was category one right remember infiltration was category one yes so ma'am is going to take today 10 30 means after uh, six minutes so this topic will be there so please attend right and then Joshi sir will be taking what you see again category one you see again category one right <laughs> theoretical cant and actual cant this is what cant was what cant was what cant was what category one you see you see we are very smart yes so this is tomorrow tomorrow morning tomorrow morning 10 am Joshi sir will take again this you see this is category one topic then Abhinav sir in the app, okay, 8 p.m. will be taking this topic of consolidation of soil. Again, category one. Again, category one. You see? <laughs> Again, category one. And this is, you know, five points you should remember. This is, we can say, more preparation strategy, okay? So this is also important. So tomorrow, 29th November at 8 p.m. is going to take, okay? And then tomorrow we'll study what steel structures will solving MSQ. So tomorrow 10 30 we will be solving questions and i'll be solving questions mostly from category one okay tomorrow 8 pm some cat from category two also so i will end the lecture okay so go for the kill complete category one then category two category three hundred topics of civil engineering don't leave don't leave a single topic Go for kill, 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 kill. 75 days go for killing. Okay, for first kill those 53 topics. <laughs> first go for 53 topics. Okay, now killing doesn't mean to start, you know, all, all 100 topics in 50 days. No possible, not possible. Don't become so much of excited. Okay, that you forget that you are what? So first complete what? 53 topics. Okay, 53 topics. Don't leave any of these 53 topics. Okay. First, complete these 53 topics and and then go for the next category 2 is how much? Category 2 is 28 topics, right? And then category 3 is your 19 topics. And I'm absolutely sure all this can be completed in 75 days. All this can be completed in 75 days. It's not at all difficult. Now, what about mathematics? Mathematics, we are going to have a session, okay? I will be uh, inviting uh, our very dear Sridhar sir, okay? Sridhar sir is expert in mathematics. So, sir has been teaching for the last 20 years. 
So Caesar sir is going to te has been teaching mathematics for the last 20 years. So therefore he will be guiding all of you. Okay, we'll conduct the session soon. Okay, I am planning to keep a session. Sir was very busy. Yes. So we are going to have a session on mathematics also similarly. Okay. So this was from civil engineering. Yes. For mathematics and aptitude will have different sessions. Thank you very much. So at 10.30, uh, Richa Ma'am is going to take a class on fine index. So please attend that. Thank you very much. Bye. See you tomorrow and today and uh, thank you. You can get this... Um, you can get this uh, PDF in the smart playlist. This is a smart playlist. So there you will get the video link and also the PDF also. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.